All right, so before I went to bed, I figured, why not talk a little bit about the process by which you created the Bernie and the transparent picture, right? It's give somebody one, all right, that's fine. But what if you wanted to be able to do it yourself? Please disregard the picture of me and the dog or the picture of the new Lightroom book that I'm working on. But inside of here, and I'm just going to drag this file. Now, from what I would think here is they took this from a screenshot of a video. So that would explain the file size of this. I'm just going to do a command space bar to zoom. So here we have Bernie and I'm just going to grab this and move the layers panel over here just to be on the safe side. Now, how fast would I do this, right? So there's a couple of different ways that I would check this. The first one, I would probably just go into select subject and Photoshop. Now, obviously that's going to be 2021. Notice that this grabs Bernie and it grabs this person. So if you were to do a layer mask, you have both of them in one spot. What you don't have is this chair. So that's one thing. Command D to delete. The selection, I did an undo as well by doing a Command Z. Now, another way that I could do this is I could use a object selection tool, right? This is another feature that is new to 2021. If you come over here, now you drag a box around that. What it does is it limits that same thing to a specific area. So now, drags, process, and boom, now you have that one thing. So whereas the first one did it across to the entire picture, the second one allowed you to be able to limit it to a specific area. But we can see here that's still the same problem, right? We run into a problem because right now it's just selecting this entire subject. Now, what would I do from here to make it a lot easier for me? I would probably just go right here into select and go under select and mask inside of here. You see an onion skin for the stuff that we're working with. And I'm going to just pull this off just so that we could see it a little bit better and clicking on the view. It shows us on white, right? And there's the opacity, right? Because you want to be able to see kind of what you're going to be working with. So inside of here, I will probably hit this with a little edge detection. And now what I want to do is I want to start getting all of this seat back. You can see that the seat's not there. So I'm just going to use the quick selection tool. I'm going to zoom in here, command spacebar, and spacebar for the hand. And now from here, hold on the actual control key or the option on the Mac to make the brush bigger, smaller. Now from here, I can do the quick selection and zoom out. Now the pixel grid's kind of getting in the way. If you get in really, really tight, you can always just go here and go to view, show, and turn off your pixel grid. Now you don't have to worry about it. Zoom back out here, and now I'm adding this entire area, right? So that's good, but it added too much of the background. So for me, what I would do, easiest way for to do it is just hold on the option key. It's gonna turn it into the minus sign and then just paint over this area and this area and this area. So it's pretty smart as to how it does it. And you don't really have to worry about it too much because if you wind up overpainting in a specific area, like see if you see right here, you overpainted, you could just hold on the option, let go of the option key, make a smaller brush, and then just paint that back out. Command space bar, zoom out, pull this out. Oh, too much, make a small brush. This is where knowing your keyboard shortcuts really is very helpful. Now, the more that you add and remove to the selection, the better the selection is going to be. But you don't have to worry about it so much because when you click on OK, you can take that selection and turn it into a mask. So at any point in time, if you miss a component or you want to be able to add to it, all you really have to do is just go into the mask itself and paint with black to hide some of the component or paint with white to reveal some of the component. Now that we have them set up here, let's go ahead and just grab the Millennium Falcon picture and drag it in here. Notice by dragging it directly onto this, what it's going to do is it's going to place the object in the center, which I think is really good. And now I can use the option key to kind of just resize from the center, get it there. And I can take that layer and just drag it directly underneath the Bernie layer. There's my Bernie. I should name it. And now it's pretty good, right? I could go back in and just clean some of these edges right here if I just really, really zoom in. But for now, I think it's going to be fine. I can do a transform on that Bernie layer. And again, holding down the option key just to be able to get it in the center. 
I'll move them the component that I want. Get them right there. Now, this is going to kill me. But you see right there that one edge. So I will go in here to this mask with a brush with a color of black and just hide this one section. I can't let that go. It would just kill me. Okay. So now to give this the illusion of depth, I'd like his feet behind this one area. So same thing. Use that mask. Color of black. Make this a little bit bigger. And maybe what I could do is on the brushes, right? We talked about this. Control on a Mac and hold on the option. Drag to the right, drag to the left. Brush is big and small. Drag up and down does hardness, right? If you're on a PC, hold on the option key and right click. Drag to the left and to the right. Makes the size up and down does the hardness. I'm going to make this a harder brush here. Make it small and just paint here. The reason that I wanted to be hard was because I'm going to be erasing that one section. I wanted to make sure that it looks like he's literally behind it. Now that I have that set, he's a little brighter than everybody else. So I would probably just go into the layers panel, throw a curve, grab the curve here, drag it down to make everything dark. Doesn't matter. It's applying it everywhere here. I'm just going to command I to invert that mask. And now I'm going to go brush, change my flow, make it really low, make my brush bigger and softer. And instead of here, use the color of white and just slowly grab some of these sections so that it really does look like he fits in. Maybe even blend it within some of this environment here. Not too bad. So just a quick tutorial with a whole bunch of keyboard shortcuts on how to be able to get Bernie in somewhere. Right? how to be able to knock them out of the background using Photoshop 2021 and how to be able to use some layer masks and some keyboard shortcuts. Hope you enjoyed it.